talk about today on this is how a horse should stand still and you know behave to be harnessed and hitched in the carriage. You know, uh, we're going to take out super and I'm going to show you how a horse should behave. This is my horse Supra here. You know, uh, what you have to understand you know, when you're you know, uh, getting the horse used to standing is the horse has to make a choice to either be with you or to be somewhere else, mentally in his head. Okay? So you have to get the horse okay, to choose to stay with you. Okay? you know, if the horse is not willing to stay with you, if he's looking and paying his attention to you know, buddies in his field and, you know, everything like that, he, you know, he's going to walk off, he's going to be unruly. So you have to get your horse used to, you know, uh, choosing to stay with you. you know, uh, we're going to harness Supra here, you know, uh, this is how they should stand. A lot of people have problems with their horses that won't stand to be, you know, harnessed, won't stand to be, uh, you know, uh, hooked to a carriage. You know, and there's really no reason for it if you follow some basic steps. You know, the main thing you have to, you know, uh, start doing is start taking your horses out of cross ties. Cross ties, in my opinion, are one of the worst things you can put a horse in while harnessing. You know, it, uh, you know, it does nothing, you know, for, you know, gaining contact between you and your horse. You know, the best thing you can do is put it on a rope. You know, at first you're going to be using your rope in your hand, you know, keeping your horse under control, you know, getting his tension back to you, you know, and over time, you know, you know, your rope's going to be looser, you know, until the rope's on the ground. It's it's very simple, you know, uh, you know but you're, you know, all you're doing is making the horse, horse choose to be with you, choose to be a part of whatever you're doing to the day. He can look around, he can do things, you know, but he's not, you know, fully focused on anything else at that moment except staying with you. Okay, you know, I'm not having to hold the horse. You know, as I'm walking around the horse, you know, I'm watching his body language. Okay, I'm watching his eye to see if, you know, if he's still with me. You know, I'm continually talking to the horse. Too many people don't talk to the horse. You know, they'll say stuff to the horse. You know, but they're not talking to the horse. When you talk to a horse, the horse's ears should be on you. Okay? You know, watch their ears. You know, if I move around the horse, you know, you know, talk to the horse. Look at the horse's ear. Front ear's forward, you know, uh, left ear is back. You know, he's talk you know, he's listening to me. Okay? You know. You know, the main thing you have to learn when you're working with horses is how to read body language. You know, a horse will tell you everything that you want to know about what he's thinking, what he's feeling. Okay, but you have to learn, you know, you know how he's actually telling you this. So we're putting the harness on, the horse is standing nicely as he should. Yeah. You know, I'm able to do this here, I'm able to do this, you know, uh, at a show. You know, I don't advise you to, you know, have no one holding him for you at a show, but often I go to the shows by myself, you know, and, uh, you know, you know, you know, I, you know, I've trained the horse long enough that, uh, you know, I semi-trust the horse to do as I act. You know, I can leave the horse. I do not have to be next to the horse, you know, he, I can walk away and he'll stand, you know. Any horse can do this. You know, uh, you know the main thing you got to do is there's steps to take in order for you to get this much respect out of horse. And that's truly what it is, it's respect. You know, if you have two children and not paying attention to you, to you, you know, in a grocery store, what do you want, okay? You want their attention on you. Okay, that's what we're doing here. We're getting the horse's attention on us. Okay. Rain down. Yeah, good. Rain through. Yeah, good.
things should be done calmly, you know, no fighting. You know, as soon as you get into fighting with a horse to stand still, you know, uh, you get into an argument, you know, that can translate into going on the carriage. The horse can be pissed off, he can be upset, you know, and you put him on the carriage, you know, and you've already got an upset horse that not only is upset on the ground here and in your company, but is also transferring that to the carriage. So everything here has to be smooth, it has to be, you know, you know, uh, you know, easy for the horse to process, soft for the, what I call soft for the horse. You know, there's uh, different types of commands. There's soft commands, harsh commands, and hard commands. Okay, that are good.